Welcome to the Sports Center. My name is Tom. We're going to look at pages and the six different page types that are available to you as an administrator that you can add to your site. Now, I'm not going to go into individual pages and go into all the details and different things that you can do. This is just a brief overview of the six different page types to get you started. If you need further assistance on the detail of these, these pages and the different page types, simply go to the Help Center and you'll find detailed information there. But let's go ahead and get started. If I click on Pages, I'll see that I have no pages at all on my site except for the built-in tools, nothing active, nothing archived, no pages. So I'm going to click on the plus custom page button and then there's some fields here that you'll need to complete as well as the page type selection. So at the top of the page this field is needed for all pages and we're going to give maybe widget samples what we'll create for this first one. The archive page toggle this allows you to archive a page, basically takes it off of your site, but leaves it on your admin site so you can recover it if need be. Maybe it's a page you don't want to delete, but you may need it later. Allow public access. This is for pages that you want the public to be able to access. Now, by default, when you add a page to your site, it's secure and only logged in members can access that page. The included in weekly email toggle, it's on by default, so when you create a new page or when you modify an existing page, that will appear on the next weekly email. Here's some SEO settings for search engine optimization. And then you can even go so far as you can create custom header images for your pages. This is the header area. You could put a different graphic up there if you wanted to. Different text, you can link that to somewhere else. Some header features there. And then here at the very bottom is where you would select your page type. Now we're just going to use a widget page for ours. When I click save, it takes me right over to the page designer for the page I'm working on. I can add some rows. Just a, a quick sample here. Maybe I want the calendar and my contact to show. And again, I'm not going to go into the details of this. I just want to show you how to create some basic pages. Okay, there we go, they'll save immediately. So now after I've created my page, it will not appear on the navigation, so there's no way for even logged in members to access that page. So the next step after adding a page, creating a first page, is to add it to your navigation. So go over to Appearance, Navigation. I can see it's not on my navigation. I would grab that page, drag it, drop it where I want it, and save it. Come over here and refresh. And there I can see it, and there's that first page I created. So that's what you do for each page. You'll create the page, then you get your navigation, and if you wanted your navigation, most likely you will. You'll need to use a navigation tool to add it. So if I come back to pages, I will see that first page I've created. I can do some things right here on this. I can actually delete it. Of course, I don't want to do that. I can click on this link to open it up so I can see it as an admin. And I can go back into the page designer for the widget features here. Can also go back into the basic settings that we first saw when we first created that page. And that's back on the same page, which is very familiar. Okay. To create more pages, I simply click on custom page again, give it a name. So for this one, I'm going to use a dynamic text area. And that is right here. So dynamic text area page is a page that you would actually just type your page content out here. Okay. You need to give it a title. And I'll show you where that appears. And then I add it. And again, normally I would need to go to appearance, navigation, and I want to add that to my navigation. It's right here. Save it. Refresh. There it is. And there's that page. Here's that content I started typing, and here's that title I gave it. So if I come back here to my pages, I'll see it right here. I can see the title for the link. And then here's the actual page title that showed up right there, bold. So that's a dynamic text area page. And there's some also some different page types out here that I want to talk about just briefly. There's a dynamic database page. This is used like an Excel spreadsheet where you have rows and columns. 
an interactive form or I form is something that you would capture, use to capture information, maybe a contact us page or uh, something else like that on your pay, on your site. Maybe you have a medical form you need people to complete. That's what an interact, interactive form would be used for. Upload a file would be if you wanted to attach a file directly to this page. And then a website link page actually links that nav link to a different site. So maybe I'd want to link to HSLDA site like that. And then this little toggle will open a new window. Oh, it wants a link name. And again, if you miss something, it'll warn you like it did me. So again, I'll go to appearance, navigation. I would drag and drop that on my site and then save it. And there's HSLDA. This is a website link page. If I click on it, it opens up in the new, a new browser window like I told it to do. Okay, so again, there are six different page types. As you go through and create these, you need to give it a link name for sure, and then you need to select the page type that you're gonna be creating. And you can edit settings over here under options. You can directly link to that to see what it looks like, or you can get back into those settings that you first used when you first created that page by clicking there. And again, we see this archive page. We could actually archive this and update it. So now it will not appear there. It'll appear over here as archived. And we can switch it by clicking on that link. It's that easy. There we go, refresh, and it shows back up. And you can see these are red. That means these are all secure. Okay, I can make them available to the public using the Manage Navigation tool, or I can go into each one of these and I can allow public access. Okay, it turns yellow, which means both public and members can access that page. So there's the six different page types. Again, to create pages, you'd go to Pages, Custom Page, give it a name, use the other settings there as needed, and then you select your page type and start building it out. After you've got your page created, use the navigation tool to add it to your navigation. If you need further assistance, you can always reach us through the link on your admin homepage. Simply click on Create a Ticket.